So we had a question come in. Uh, is the ICD-10 code P09 applicable for diagnostic studies and what kind of screenings? So P09, uh, so if we look at the ICD-10 code, that is abnormal findings on a neonatal screening. And it also has in red the use additional code to identify your signs, symptoms, or conditions associated with that screening. So what is a neonatal screening? So first look at that. So that's typically what the tests that are performed in the hospital the first couple days after the baby is born. Uh, every state's different. They have different uh, tests that each state requires be performed on babies. So, but they typically typically do the PKU, which is that little heel prick, um, phenylketonuria. I knew I kept practicing that one. <laughs> um, that's actually looking for an inherited uh, metabolic disorder. Uh, they look for things like cystic fibrosis, heart disorders. They do the hearing check as well and along with some other ones so each state's different but if they don't catch a lot of those specific tests early then they manifest into serious medical problems later on in life so that's the reason they do it they're trying to catch these to get treatment going if they need it so if any of those tests come back with a positive result um, that indicates usually that they need to get another test done. But they do have those false positives that come out and that doesn't mean that your baby has a disease. They want you to have additional tests performed. So P09 actually didn't have many guidelines. I went to the Pediatric Society, uh, Family Practice Society, so a lot of, uh, there's not much indication out there for when exactly to use P09. Um, it is from the P section of Chapter 16, so those are for newborns. And if that condition that they had as a newborn is still present later on in life, you can still use a P code, but it doesn't go on the maternal record because these are for babies and onward. So the only other <clears throat> option would be to look at the screening guidelines under the Z codes. So there's not much guideline for P, so we're going to look at the screening guidelines. Um, and they, in the new 2019 ICD-10 book, there's this great diagram. They got a lot of these diagrams in there now that help to choose um, what you're looking for. So it says, does the patient have a sign or symptom that prompted that test? Well, if they did, then you're going to report that sign or symptom that prompted that test. That's when you're going to use that code. Uh, but if they didn't, then you're going to report a screening code. And if while they are screening, they find a condition, then you assign that additional diagnosis as well. So P09, remember there's a multitude of tests in that neonatal screening. So if one of those comes back as um, abnormal, then you can use the P09 if there is not a more specific, uh, say the hearing was wrong or you know one of the other tests came back, you would use the more specific code, but if you're sending them on for an additional test again, then you can use the P09 because you had an abnormal neonatal test and that's your reason for sending them on. There's no other signs or symptoms the baby's presenting, so you would use a screening code and in this case we have a P1 for the, uh, for the child, for the baby in that category, so we would use P09 if we're sending them on for another uh, test and that's your diagnosis you need to use then if there's no other signs and symptoms. Okay, thank you, thank you, thank you. You're welcome. Do you need more medical certification and business training? Learn more at www.cco.us.